I'm two years member now. Eh? Um, even the communication and the questions that I can ask or give, uh, they are answered. And for me, that's already a highlight. That's so important to continue getting better, 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 better and better. That's mm -hmm. very important. I have two highlights uh, which I like to share. Um, there's one highlight um, which is like continuously um, coming up. This is always when it comes to mobility because uh, yeah, a stay abroad for young people has really a huge impact. It has a huge impact. You can see they are getting much more open, get much more self-confident. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really easy. Um, we have like uh, employees across 90 countries worldwide, but we are also represented um, in all the EU countries. So there's a lot of opportunities and um, it's always really nice to see um, yeah, how the young people are developing. Um, throughout this um, stay abroad. This is one thing I like to share and the other th um, the other um, highlight is that uh, we have implemented um, apprentice value guards. This, we, this idea we got from last year's event, from the last year's um, EFR event um, and we wanted to give employees a voice and that's why we have established uh, the apprentice value guards. We've been involved for uh, about two and a half years, I think, uh, not more than three years. Uh, our highlight was when we saw actually uh, how it works, what is what's the real meaning of apprenticeship, and what are the benefits actually, how it works. Then we compare, it, it's uh, so uh, initiate us to compare with our legislation, and then we said, wow, there is something different, you know, when you discover something new and it was unknown by then actually you've been you've been to working on it or similar things but then it's there is another form and regulation shape so it's just uh, initiated us uh, like uh, you know discovering something new and interesting and then it motivate us to look uh, for other uh, environment uh, around uh, like other programs where we can use apprenticeship as a topic and as a model and then further to develop this uh, 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 to to build our position and to strengthen our capacities. So we believe that we are one of the pioneers in Macedonia actually about, about this topic of apprenticeship. For the next 10 years uh, of EAFA, I wish that we can engage uh, many, poor, uh, many more members uh, on board and that we keep the momentum and the commitment uh, of the current members because they've been brilliant. Uh, they have been very generous uh, by participating in our events and uh, also in all our activities by sharing their experiences, by trying to reach uh, partners partnerships uh, with other members and by bringing uh, apprenticeships to the forefront and uh, making them uh, more appealing and uh, more quality. One of the things that uh, the members of the network have talked about uh, is uh, is teeth and, and asking pledge holders how they're doing on, uh, on, the, on the different bits of the bits of the framework. I mean, potentially updating the framework, but there's definitely been a discussion amongst the young people uh, about whether a pledge is enough uh, and maybe developing it so that um, so that apprentices are able to to, to ask pledge holders. Okay, you've you've said you you're, you're going to do this for apprentices, but are you making sure that your apprentices are getting? Uh, a good education? Are you making sure that your apprentices are treated well in the workplace? Have you developed a way to listen to and represent your uh, your apprentices? Mm -hmm.